were 570 km apart. So I start off drawing x, y, 570 km. John traveled from X to Y, so John in this direction, at an average speed of 68 km per hour. And the next line they say, at the same time, even though time is not given, you can just proceed as it is, okay? Kelly traveled from Y to X. So Kelly in this direction. And an average speed of 84 km per hour. And the question asks for how far would John have traveled when they meet on the way? So again, the point where they meet, should it be nearer to John or nearer to Kelly? The point where they meet? John. Because John's speed is slower. Therefore, the distance traveled will be lesser. Alright? So John, let me tell you this, okay? John here, Kelly here. This is the point where they meet. Okay, but you can see that what happened is John will actually so called travel this part while Kelly will travel this part, right? But what did you what do you realize here? They will travel the whole thing together, right? So since they start at the same time, okay, the total distance that they will travel together is 570. And so called traveling together, we will actually take the combined speed. So combined speed. Plus 84 will give you 152. So distance of the 570 divided by the speed of 150, you will be able to find the time taken okay, for them to meet. So time taken to meet. 570 divided by 152, 3 and 3 quarter. So 3 and 3 quarter is based on hour. They will both travel for 3 and 3 quarter hour. Then they will meet. Okay? Because the question only asks for John. So John's distance will be based on John's speed multiplied by the time taken. Total distance. John's distance will therefore be 255. Please take note, it's distance, measurement unit involved, KM. Okay?